Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Gunnacopafeel, and welcome back to Corpse Party! So in the last episode, we saved Naomi's life, and now we're just gonna leave her in the infirmary all alone. Because that's what heroes do. They leave girls all alone. So they can get captured, or whatever, and then we can save them again. That's what heroes do. So I don't know, let's just go ch check stuff out. I'm gonna go check on Seiko's corpse again. Okay, so I wanted to check on Seiko's corpse, and it just says, It's the body of Seiko Shinohara. Her neck's been squeezed into an hourglass shape with a deep crimson rope burn at its center. Wow, time's a ticking. Shinohara. Shinohara. Okay, let's get out of here. The walkway was just at the bottom of the stairs to the right. Oh yeah, so we want to go to the walkway. We want to go to the other building because we are searching for, um, Yuka. But it's not here. Satoshi, what happened to it? You just gotta believe. You gotta believe in yourself and the wall will appear. Please, just believe. Yeah, why is there a wall here? I, I don't think pushing it's gonna help. Haven't you realized that this place changes with the earthquakes? Okay? And there's different dimensional shit that you gotta explain to you too? Krug. Okay, so why are you just gonna sit there and cry about it? No, why don't you try to find a solution? Kizami. Kizami! Oh, Kizami, you fucking dick. You handsome little dick. <laughs> By what, Kurosaki? Oh, a hamster! Oh no, Kizami's gonna kill your little hamster, little Kurosaki. Their lives aren't worth much at all, so let's just pop its fucking head off. Kizami, you're fucking sick. What about your life, Kizami? What's it worth? <laughs> Come on, hamsters smell nice, don't they? Out of all the little, little rodents there are in the world, I thought hamsters didn't smell too bad, but I've never owned a hamster. I've just held one in my hands. So maybe, I don't know, you hamster-owning people, what do they smell like? Do they smell bad? No, Kizami, you're just, you're gonna nail it to a cross or do something just fucking creepy, okay? I don't want to know what you're gonna do. Oh no. See, at this point, you should just leave, Kurosaki. You just leave. Kizami's creeping you out. Kurosaki's like, huh? He probably doesn't even understand what that is. He's like, huh, what's that? Oh shit, it's a box cutter sound. That's what we heard. What? Oh, Kurosaki, you're so dumb. You, you could have just, like, kicked him away. Punch him, punch him. Nothing me, little asshole. You've got a knife and animal in your hands. You know, Kizami reminds me of I forget his name, but I as father in court and um mad father. He's like, I just want to kill stuff. Cause it's beautiful. No one likes a smartass, and no one likes a person who tortures innocent animals, unless you're creepy like that. <laughs> what the fuck, man? How can you, like, be nice to Kizami still after he almost killed your little hamster? Yeah, my thoughts exactly. How can he put up with you? We should just kill Kizami. Yeah, I guess there is that higher there is that hierarchy in uh, Japanese society. So, if I had a little brother of my own, I'd love the shit out of him. You'd love him so much he'd die. That's how much you'd love him. I wouldn't want to be your little brother, Kizami. <laughs> wow, this guy has such a dirty mouth. I just, his mouth is a little bit open. I just want to put a piece of soap in it. I want to put a bar of soap in your mouth. But you'd probably bite off my hand because you're fucking sick, Kizami. If you had a little sister of your own, you'd rape her, you sick fuck. Huh. Oh, he was remembering that. <laughs> what a fond memory. <laughs> okay, what's, what's going on here? Okay, she went to take a piss. Now what happened after? What did you see there, little Yuka? Oh, I see. Kizami's really creepy because he... He's saying how much he wanted a little sister. Now he's going to treat Yuka like that. But what are you going to do to her, Kizami? Are you going to torture her? 
They're all full of dead bodies, maybe? Uh, that Kizami killed? Oh, they're full of people that have hung themselves. Okay. Oh, don't act surprised. Come on, you love death, okay? Shouldn't that make you happy? They did do it to themselves. Don't seem shocked. Just relish in it, okay? I, you're, oh, I can't believe I gotta play as this guy. I don't wanna play as him. That is quite a stench. Can I open any of these? The body is too new to stall door. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces off. That sounds fun. I just wanted to... Okay, I'm not sick like that. There's student ID. Mari Rokuhara from Shimabami. That was too fast. Every time you try to open it, it just slams into the corpse and bounces off. There's no name tags. Is there any anything else here? The student ID tag. Kotoe Kuroyama. Hakuro number three. Wow, they're from different schools. That's a lot of death here. It's like, oh, I want to kill myself, but there's no empty bathroom stalls. Oh my fucking god. God, that's so inconvenient. I just want to hang myself, but it's so full. Oh, he just looks so handsome when he's thinking, too. He's like, I'm a creepy asshole, but I look fucking sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Great many lives end in this room, yes. <laughs> there we go. That's the face I'm looking for, Kizami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Oh, Kizami! You're such a cutie pie when you're crazy! A sicko! Okay, you could. You must have heard that. What? Look at he just turned crazy. He saw the dead bodies and he snapped. Oh, oh my god, does he have like multiple personalities? Oh! <gasps> So his handsome personality might be his real one, and he has like money. He just snaps. Oh God! Oh God! What are you? What are you? What are you gonna do? What are you, what are you gonna do with my little Yuka? Yuka chan. Oh shit! He does have multiple personalities, doesn't he? Uh huh. Wow, it must be cold because you can see Kizami's breath. So. Well then, what? Ikoka. Oh no! His personality changed. My dear little sister, he's gonna do all sorts of weird shit to her. In the past, he's like, if I have a little sister, I'm gonna do a bunch of weird stuff to her. God damn you. Okay. Oh, we're playing, we're at Hazayumi again. Sure is cold. Yeah, well, about that. Oh yeah, where's the teacher? The teacher's roaming about, because she was looking for everyone. She's like, where is everyone? Okay, now we're as Ayumi again, all by ourselves. And her eyes just went completely white. That's a good idea. Why don't we go back there? That's a, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, Ayumi shouldn't be in that other building. That other building is too much for her. Ayumi gets easily possessed. So yeah, let's not do that. Let's go into here. Maybe we'll run into Satoshi along the way, but I doubt it because I think we're in different little dimensions. Yeah, the color's different. <laughs> Stop with that creepy business. No, ghost. I've had enough of your shit already. I agree with Ayumi. Yeah, so they want to get revenge on all the teachers. Oh, God. That was... Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's go and explore. Seiko Tanaka. Oh, okay. I was like, that can't be our Seiko. Is it our Seiko? No. Because, you know, time is different here, too. There's different times, and, you know, her body could have been thrust, like, into the future, and it could have decayed or into the past or whatever. So whatever, you know? Ugh, I still got a bit of a cold. God damn it. Where are we gonna go? How about you, little ghosty ghost? Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room, if you've got a hunch there's something nearby, you press the X button. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up! Okay, classroom, I'm gonna check the shit out of you. Maybe someone's written something down on here. The message you wrote previously is still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded. Damn it! Watashi no message. Watashi no message. 
No one has seen your Watashi no message My message. Damn it. Well, where can we- let's go- oh, okay, well, let's go this way, sure, and the cutscene's gonna happen. <laughs> Ayumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. Ouch! That sucks. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand was cut wide open. Wide open? Ugh. It's bleeding pretty badly. Ugh. Hankerji might not be able to stop that. You need stitches, girl. Oh, she found out she's anemic. Oh, God. This sucks. Uh, okay, well, where are we gonna go? She's blood. Oh, there's blood everywhere. God damn it. Things just keep on getting worse for Ayumi. Ayumi, everyone else, like, they might die of hunger or thirst. Oh, well, you know, Yoshiki is bound, but Ayumi, like, she keeps on getting possessed. Now she's cut and she's bleeding to death. It's like, god damn it, Ayumi. Your life sucks right now. Is there anything there? Begging, one sec. Uh, one is staying up further than the others is begging to be perused. Circumnavigating the ancient world. Let's read it. The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon a clock face, with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully times 12 notches. Beginning with the rat affixed at due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around the timepiece compass. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and then back to rat. For ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with both its zodiac sign and its hour on the clock. North, then, is both the rat and 12. East is the rabbit, and east by southeast is a dragon. This is the basis of circumnavigating within the ancient world. Okay, uh, you, you, you better remember that. We might have to solve a puzzle, and I'm, I'm gonna rely on you. Okay, let's go up these stairs. I have a good feeling. There was a, The door was locked up here in chapter two. Wow. Wow, holy shit. So I, I'm on the first floor. There's no criminal people sitting next to the body. Well, Yuma, I guess this is as far as you go. Exhaustion is set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. My classmate Tomo and Mizuki climbed the fence around the outdoor walkway and slipped into the woods outside the school. What happened to her? It's been three days now and she still hasn't come back. How do you know how much time's passed? <laughs> All the while I've been stuck here getting chased around by the ghost of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrists, so I'm in no condition to keep running. And this is what happened to you. You got your head cut off too. I keep hearing the snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's just a ringing in my ears. Oh, it's real. I wish I'd just die already. Get it over with so I can finally rest. Maybe I can have my head cut off at the jaw like that lid. Ah! <laughs> and you did get your head cut off. Whatever this is seems to have only just died a mere hours, minutes, or even moments, or even nanoseconds ago. Yuma. You mamma mamma mia. What are you gonna say? You're gonna lie to me. It hurts, it hurts so much. Even in death. Oh, well, yeah, de death hurts a lot. I'm not too sure about the afterlife because I haven't died myself, but, you know, I can imagine. If you died here, you bite, you hurt a little bit. Okay, well, I don't even know where I'm going. I just, I'm just exploring. I'm just wandering around. Like a ghost with its head cut off. <laughs> okay, good. Well, at least I can go back up to where the infirmary was. Let's go check the infirmary. Maybe if we're lucky, Naomi will be there, but it's a totally different dimension she's in because the color is different, so she's not going to be there. But what's going to be here? Is this new? The antique doll. Oh, this is the antique doll we threw. Should I pick up the antique doll? Because this is the one we threw, which apparently the, the killer had possessed, remember? The teacher. Which was really creepy. Because it was supposed to apologize. It was supposed to say, I'm sorry. And then this shit was supposed to solve itself. What? <gasps> There's a spirit here. Yeah, Naomi's chilling. She's chilling like a villain in the other. Oh, never mind. That's not Naomi. That's a whole nother ghost thing. Back away slowly. That works. Should I back away? Um... No, let's go talk to it. Hi, I just wanted to say hello. He's staring right at- Yeah, I just wanted to- just wanted to tell you it's okay. I have this antique doll. Why don't you talk to it? Ah, uh, don't- The deep black iris of the boy's spirit's left eye transfixes Ayumi's gaze. Show it the doll. The doll's gonna apologize to you now, okay? It begins slowly expanding in size. Sounds like my penis when a hot girl walks by. Just kidding. You can't what? You can't move your- oh, damn it. This, <laughs> this has backfired a little bit. The boy's iris can use to grow slowly and methodically, enveloping Ayumi until only blackness remains. That's creepy, so it's like... Mmm. 
soon the eye expanded out. That's crazy. The world vanishes into nothingness as the soul is muscle become, becomes an all-encompassing void, blotting out the whole of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. What? Show me. Why? No, no, please, please, no. I'm so scared. No, please. Oh, sorry. She was saying that. I didn't have to read that. <laughs> the face seems distorted as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit until finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Is that it? That's it? What? I didn't get game over yet. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I can still live. Okay, this time we're just gonna back away slowly. And by back away slowly, I mean we're gonna sprint away. Heavenly Host. The light and dark sides of Heavenly Host. I wonder if we've read this before. I keep on forgetting whether we read some of these. Heavenly Host, I managed to go built in 1952. Clearly became a source of pride. Okay, yes, we have read this before, game. God damn it, I'm gonna skip through this. Okay, dodged a bull on that one. I can't go. Why? Why can't she go this way? Oh, she doesn't want to see the corpse that was splattered on the wall. Mayu. You, you, come on, but what if, like, I haven't found anything else anywhere, but I did just get this doll, and maybe this doll will show me the way. Show me the light, doll. Show me a beacon. Show me where to go. Please, uncover the mysteries. Okay, well, that's a little creepy. Why are you... Is, it, is that the doll crying? One of those toy Mika doll telephones, but it's definitely close. It's, I, it's a doll! I knew it! I called it before Ayumi did, even though Ayumi is like right beside the doll and I'm controlling this from outside of this entire world. Oh, she, maybe she's crying. Why'd you throw me? You threw me! Okay, that's weird. Whoa! Oh my god! That Naho girl's here. But Naho is possessed by Sachiko, remember? This is the area where the teacher got the cabinet pushed on her. What? Why? What? Oh, I see. Naho recommended for us to uh, use the antique doll, actually. But it didn't work. Ayumi, don't cry. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. No way, something's wrong here. Yoshiki was bound in the basement or whatever, wherever he was. I don't know where he was. No, no, no way, no way. Something is fishy here. I smell fish. But he did get hit in the head. But maybe it's just her. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's blood everywhere. Yeah, well that did happen. But you were like in the basement all tied up. Okay, that's what happened. He was locked in a gloomy little room, but how did you get out of there? Yeah, that's the guy who smacked you. G my thoughts exactly. Okay, whoa, so he keeps on getting transported away. Maybe Sachiko transported him away because she wanted to play with him and toy with him a little more. That's good. I'm so glad Yoshiki's here. Yoshiki, you the man. Yeah, I don't want anyone to die either. It's a very natural reaction. Okay, well, what happened now? Okay, so each of the children separately have to be, have to have their spirits appeased, so maybe there's different things we have to do to appease them. So maybe like each of these different dimensions represents like one of the different children, right? 
Okay, so yeah, they heard the killer's regrets, but it did absolutely nothing. You're right. It didn't even appease any one of them. Well, I guess that already. I mean, come on. That's kind of obvious. Well, it's kind of obvious. He harms the living indiscriminately. Well, wow. As if the ghosts weren't bad enough, now we got this guy wandering around. I wonder how some of these people are wandering around here for days at a time, though, and never run into him. Maybe he's only in this dimension. But the, the doll just cries and whimpers and weeps. Oh, so we need to present this doll. <laughs> we need to present this doll to him, like the guy that's chasing us. Oh, God. Yeah, he's looking for it, but what are we going to do? Are we just going to put it in the hallway and lure him out? Maybe we'll tie a little rope, like with a little hole, and we'll just pull it when he walks by and get his feet. Uh, but he's just like a supernatural dead thing. <gasps> Oh, that's fucking creepy. She affects the earthquakes. Her mood affects the earthquakes, doesn't it? Holy shit. A woman's wrath is just a little crazy. Jeez, it is Sachiko. Sachiko wants us to do her own bidding. Like, it's obviously she's just trying to trick us, isn't it? Okay, now is not a place to be taking your constipated shit, okay? I wonder if she's fighting Sachiko possessing her. Like, it's actually Naho as well as Sachiko in the same body. Well, that's, that's depressing. Yeah, Yoshiki is so smart. He's like, can we believe her? Yes, you're fucking genius. Yeah, there's something to do with it, so let's just begin there. Good Ayumi, she's, when she's not freaking out, she's actually quite useful. Oh, wow, that's... She's so smart, it's like a tracking device for the murderer's body. That's cool. Yeah, he's bleeding quite profusely. That's quite the blunt trauma he's received. Okay. What? Oh, the door just opened, I see. Mission complete, random door opening. Hoorah, baby. Let me save my game. Okay, well, this door freaking opened, but it doesn't lead anywhere. What's the point of the door opening if this place is still blocked? There is no point. And look at that, Yoshiki is my main character now, because he's just such a badass. They're like, let's show Yoshiki. Ayumi, you're like the healer class. You're just kind of there. Oh yeah, can't we go up here now? Because we have Yoshiki, no, never, okay, fuck, fuck, ever, fuck the world. Okay, tracking device, work your magic, weep, weep. So it weeps when we're on this floor, so this is a good sign. Let's use it as a tracking device. Oh! From Red Door, Six Steps Horse, 13 Pace. Oh fuck, it's that s uh, Six Steps Horse, 13 Paces Rooster. It's that clock with the Chinese Zodiac. God damn it. Six Steps Horse, which I imagine maybe is south. Makes sense, south from the door. 13 Paces Rooster. It's gotta be west, west or east. Okay, uh. Six South, 13 West or East. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Let's take a look at what we got to do here. Okay, so from the door, from the red door, which is right here, I imagine it's six south. One, two, three, four, what? Okay, so one, two, three, four, 
This would be 5, and that would be 6. This would be the 6 south. And now 13. Well, we can't even go that way. We can't go south. We can't go north. Because what would be the point going back north? So I'm guessing it's this way. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, never mind, this was it! Oh my god, maybe I counted too much. I just randomly was pressing check on the floorboards as I was walking across. Yes! One of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the crack. You can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out. Of course, let's pull it out! What just happened? Ayumi got out of my body. She jumped out of Yoshiki's body. With a bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag. Heavenly House Elementary School, Class 3-5, Ryo Yoshizawa. Oh, maybe this is one of the students that died. The teacher killed him. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Ayumi. One of us has to do it, you know? What? What? What is it? It's like a body part, isn't it? The teacher kept body parts of the students, didn't he? What? The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. <laughs> it's a tongue. <laughs> Reminds me of Old Boy. If you've seen Old Boy, it's a Korean movie, and it's fucking crazy. Return it, return it. Where? Where do we gotta go with my new tongue? I got a tongue. I got a tongue. And I just want to use it to lick things. If I was Yoshiki, I'd take it out and I'd just put it on Ayumi's face and be like, Look, I just licked your face. And, and then she would run away from me and we'd both die. I guess I'm lucky I'm not in this game. Yep. Yeah. It's probably from one of the people that died. I mean, the, the teacher killed him with scissors, right? So he cut out their tongues. Cut out his tongue. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> his noise was hilarious. We give it back. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> that's gonna appease the spirit of, like, the ghosts. I got your tongue. Here's a little tonguey tongue. Do you want a little tongue? Okay, so we gotta get to the infirmary, don't we? We gotta get- we got Ryo's tongue. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I really hope that this ghost here is Ryo. If not, I'm gonna die again, aren't I? <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's do our best. I got your tongue. Crap, he's looking right at me. Give him the tongue! <gasps> Don't look- give him the tongue. We got the tongue. Oh yeah, good! This- uh, that's him. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Oh god, if it was a different one of the children, I would have just died and got another bad ending. Know your name. That's right, and I got your tongue, okay? Show him the tongue, of course! Show him the tongue! Well, Ayumi, let's, let's not start accusing him, let's calm him down a little bit first, shall we? Uh, yeah, I guess the, so these ghosts are actually pulling people in then but are you sure it's the ghosts what if it's just Sachiko doing it and Sachiko is just blaming the ghosts who knows who knows all will be told though here you go just throw a tongue into the ghost like bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Hand over your own tongue. That's so sick. My home. Oh yeah, he couldn't talk properly. That's why this is the one who was like, <laughs> my tongue. We got your tongue. Now you can talk. Yeah. Oh, no problem. Okay, good. So wow, we've already appeased one of these ghosts. That's quite amazing. We only have what, like, three more. Although one of them is special, remember? I think three of them were killed, and one of them... The one in the red is special. Ah! 
Okay, oh, okay, so an earthquake's happening, and they're feeling it at the same time. Oh, yeah, that's because we appeased one of the ghosts, and because of that, one of the dimensions is going to go away. So we are going to be brought into one of the other dimensions now, aren't we? So we appease the ghost of, like, the bluish, purpley colored dimension. I won't be getting anywhere sitting down here. I accidentally made that too fast. Please wait for me. Okay, so we're playing as Satoshi again now. Oh, so what did you do here? You just sat there the whole time and just moaned and groaned. Holy shit. Hey, red dress girl, please wait for me. But I gotta check on Naomi, don't I? I gotta check on, okay, I gotta check on Naomi first. We'll follow her after. Naomi, how's it hanging? <gasps> what? The infirmary is locked. Oh my god. Fucking earthquakes. What? There's no one. Damn it! See, leaving Naomi there was a bad idea. All you did is you went downstairs, you moped and groped about the wall not moving, and then you went back upstairs to check on Naomi, and now we're fucked. Well, way to go there, little Satoshi. You just, you just fucked up everything. Okay, well, whatever. Let's follow the girl in the red dress. But actually, we're going to do that in the next episode. I'm going to save my game, and in the next episode, we're going to do that. I just said the same thing twice, didn't I? It's just fucking crazy. It's crazy. I'm going crazy. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, in the next episode, I might finish Chapter 4, depending on how much is left. I usually try to keep these into, like, three episodes per chapter. But, you know, it might be a really long chapter. I have no idea. So just stay tuned for then. Okay? I'll see you then. Sit tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> As always, <laughs> thanks for watching and peace.